We can always edit it out, right? <laughs> if we, you're good. If we say a bad word. That's okay. <laughs> it's a private channel. <laughs> Yes. Okay, well, here okay. we are again. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is the video number two to talk about the career of this great man dedicated his life to the bees. And uh, as, a, as the goal of my channel is to bring good things about bees and how you can educate yourself about bees. And this is one of the best ways I could find is to talk about this man. Uh, he has a fantastic website, it's completely free, that have a tons of information to everybody to learn about bees, how to manage them, the biology of bees, and I'm going to let you, Professor, to... Profess. <laughs> profess, yes. Talk about your website and... <laughs> well, here we are. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the, the city where we are. Yeah. We're at Dudley Farm. Dudley Farm is a state park here in Florida. And it's based on the lifestyle of about the 1880s, uh, in terms of uh, up to about 1900, where uh, uh, a, a community of people uh, lived the lifestyle of uh, old Florida. And now it's a state park, and so we're right on the, uh, we're hearing some good sounds in the background. We're actually on this park, so uh, on this farm. So let's talk a little bit about change. That's part of why one of the things to talk about here is Lots of changes since uh, Dudley Farm was uh, functioning mm -hmm. to up till now, right? So they've had a lot, a lot of changes, and beekeeping is the same way. And part of this APIS Information Resource Center, part of that is to look at changes that are going on or have gone on in beekeeping since I've been involved. I've been involved since the 1970s and uh, seen a lot of change and uh, lots of different things going on in terms of uh, beekeeping and apiculture. So what this uh, uh, APIS Information Resource Center is all about is a kind of a unique uh, website that has uh, a lot of different information on it. And it's sort of, I put it together as kind of a, uh, uh, a work in progress. We don't know where it's going. And that's the usual case, right, uh, with yeah, this kind of thing. That's we don't know what we're doing. That's beekeeping. <laughs> that's beekeeping. That's right. Yeah, you get never... started and then you move down the path and you go from there. Yep. So we're just going to talk a little bit about what's at the APIS Information Resource Center. By the way, the, uh, the HTTP, the URL is beekeep.info, beekeep.info. So I'm going to talk about the organization as it exists today. Uh, so within, in that context, then, uh, the, there's a menu. Uh, one of the r real interesting things to do, if you've got a lot of time, is look at the table of contents of the website, because we've got over about 125 pages there of stuff. So the introduction then is, is something about beekeeping, how do you get the, uh, what, what beekeeping is about, a little bit, a little bit of introduction. Uh, that's one aspect of this. I have a blog, so that's, that's part of any website's having a blog, kind of an informational update and things about, about, about that shape. I talk about a newsletter. The blog is really a newsletter, but I, talk, I have a history of, of producing newsletters. You can actually go back and look at some newsletters that I've written back as far as 2008. So that's about 10 years ago. <laughs> and I've been doing this a long time, writing a newsletter. So um, uh, there's a lot of that information out there in different places in different ways. Then there's, the, what I, as I say, the most important thing in terms of, look, of searching around is the table of contents. And uh, that's, that's linked off the main page. I also have what are called contributors. These are people that I have sort of signed on. To, I, I, I quote from them, I talk about them, uh, and uh, they've uh, offered to be, uh, in quotation marks, contributors, that is, people that will, are contributing to the website, not actively right now, although that may change in the, in the, in the, as time goes on. I'm not getting any younger. Stuff might be happening. None of us are. <laughs> I don't know. And so one of the things would be the contributors might be in a position to you know, kind of take over, hopefully, or we'll have to wait and see what happens. Then I have a link to my book, Stories Guide to Keeping Honeybees. That's the first video Which we just did. the first video, and, and there is a link here in the corner so you can check it out. And there is a giveaway, it's still running, so Yeah, we're still running the giveaway. We're going to be giving away some books and uh, uh, getting some information that way. And then, of course, there's some contact information. 
The biggest part of this is something I'm calling a treatise of modern honeybee management. Uh, beekeeping for, for many years was, uh, I guess people sort of intuited it was a management thing, but I don't think we really understood how management is required until bees, honeybees became um, not, no longer wild animals, but domesticated species. So <laughs> that's an interesting shift. That's talk about change. That's a big change. Because wild bees, wild honeybees were out there and people farmed them and did things with them and kept them in hives and so on. And those wild bees then, over time, because of human intervention, have now become a domesticated species. Now, in a way, that's kind of sad. <laughs> you know, because... Pros and cons. They, yeah, there are pros and cons to both. Everything, everything we talk about is that way. But that's kind of an interesting concept. So management then becomes the issue. And the treatise, the treatise of honeybee management then has several areas that, you, that people need to look at if they're interested in bees in order to uh, actually manage the bees. So I've got a number of different places you can go to look at managing, for example, the honeybee population. Yeah, as, a, as a user myself, that's something that I think I can jump in here. Okay, I good. enjoy. I enjoy the way you put because this is unique as management. Right. A lot of people get into bees and they start to get recipes and you tell and you tell this in a different way that I think is better for people to understand management because there's many concepts right, together right, 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 to manage right, honeybees right. and when you get recipes yeah it's a disaster <laughs> <laughs> well that's that's what happens of course a lot of people get get recipes what do you call them recipes but yeah. but advice yeah. from different people and everybody is you know the bees are different the people are different they go about these things in a different way but there's no real textbook that tells people this is the way it ought to be done. And if you find a textbook that says this is the way it ought to be done, then you better burn that book. True. <laughs> we don't want that book. You don't want that book. <laughs> no, we want, a, we want a, a, a multifarious thing. And that's what, that's what we have that's here. That's fair to say, Professor. Yeah. I'll give you an example. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm hesitant. People are asking, why don't you do that in your, in your channel? Start to teach things. And I'll tell you why. It's for the same reason. When you teach something that you learn with bees in your background, and you try to pass this along for another country, another habitat, you might kill those bees out there. <laughs> it's right. a different yeah, management, yeah, it's yeah, a different yeah, habitat. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Be aware of that. Nobody put a video about the disasters. Only put videos <laughs> only, about the things yeah, that all, work. All the, all the things that work for them, that's yes. right. Yeah. <laughs> Keep that in mind. So anyway, these, uh, this is all about managing various aspects of modern beekeeping. Um, and then first of managing the honeybee population, how we go about doing that. Uh, there are topics in there like swarming. There are topics in there like uh, moving colony, uh, boxes around to manage the population. And, uh, and so it's a, it's a pretty, pretty heavy duty kind of uh, topic. Then we talk about, ma in, in this thing, there's, there's a discussion of managing genetics. Now, in the past, we never managed any genetics, right? No, I mean, no, we didn't no, do that. It is no. what it is. <laughs> Those were the days, my friend. But, well, that might be evidence. But uh, now, well, yeah. we have to consider that. Now, well, that's one of the issues is we don't know how to do it right now. But we're considering it, but there's many ways of doing it. And with the new genetic information and the, and the genome and that kind of technology, that's, that's moving in, in a pretty quick uh, fashion in different places. So managing genetics... It has become one of, as I said, one of the uh, the uh, menu items for this APIS Information Resource Center. Then, of course, managing diseases and pests, right? Uh, you're doing a little bit of that on your channel here, yes. right? Uh, yes, I am about, trying uh, to show people the different kind of diseases, the different kind of right. ways to diagnose them. Uh, we are very initiating this. We, we don't know much about diagnosis yet, but... We well, different, different diseases, diseases, though. Yeah. Some diseases have been around a long time, so we have a little bit of a better idea about, the, the for example, American fowl brood. Yeah, now, that's been is. there. That's considered to be one of the worst diseases that honeybees can get, and it was the worst disease until... Until we take... <laughs> until something else happens. Yeah, we take and it's, action. Yeah, and, and it's still, a, still an issue, but we know a lot about it. So, uh, that's, there's the whole menu item about these various diseases, how they operate, and so on. We don't have time to go in today, but, uh, but uh, the, it's there. Now, the last, next part of managing is finances. Very important. If you want to be a beekeeper, 
you need to know how to be a, a businessman too. Uh, you yeah. need to understand the economics, otherwise you're going to have problems. Now this is something I've, I've sort of uh, uh, talked to people about for a long time. I remember uh, a guy in a, in a short course I did, I was talking about finances, he says, you know, Professor, I don't need to know how much money I'm losing because if I know how much money I'm losing, I'm not going to be keeping bees anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, that's perfect. That's exactly why <laughs> you kind of should know what you're doing in terms of the finances. Then the products, managing honeybee products. Well, there's a lot of things we some people will kind of forget every once in a while that there are a lot of products, right? Yep. You've got honey. Honey. You've got what? Royal jelly. Royal jelly. You've got pollen. Pollen. You've wax. got wax. And you've got venom. Venom. venom is a you know, and so you the, there are other kinds of things, and then of course services. Services yeah. have often been uh, uh, not uh, uh, not the main not objective. the main thing, but it is now, now because that's what's shifted is the service of commercial pollination. Pollination. Speaking of things changing, managing nutrition. That's an important topic. Now that's an important topic. Now before, as I said, way, way before, whatever, way before we were talking about managing nutrition, we didn't have to worry about it. Yep. Bees were wild, they flew out, they had all kind of food, they, have they all were the happy, resources. they were doing everything in the world, and then what happened? Humanity stepped in, they started creating monocultural farms, cutting down trees, uh, managing, paving over uh, surfaces, you name it, and basically killing off or eliminating, in many cases, the bees' food supply. So all of a sudden now, hey, wait a minute, what happened? Well, this is what's happening, is that the nutrition's being impacted in a lot of different ways that we don't even know about right now, really. Yep. And so we need then to, like a domestic animal, if you don't have grass for your cows, what do you do? Yep. You bring in hay. Yep. <laughs> right? I mean, you know, same idea with bees. Now, now, beekeepers always did manage a little bit of the nutrition, but this is becoming much more of a hot topic recently. And then the final thing on this particular, this treatise, is uh, the great uh, P, pesticides. Pesticides. Managing pesticides. Now, in the past, of course, you, uh, you were, the beekeeper wasn't managing pesticides. The pesticides was managing the beekeeper because whatever the farmer Joe out there put on the land, that's what affected your bees. Yeah, or, by the away. way, it was not so much farmers. Now it's golf courses. It's lawns. It's all kinds of ornamental crops that people have in their yards. It's all that stuff. That's all a pesticide situation that's affecting honeybees. Managing how that's happening, getting information out from local people so they don't put stuff in the ground or stuff in the air or spray your, your hives or whatever to kill them. Uh, that's an important uh, situation. So that's yeah. managing those pesticide issues. And you have yeah. good information there. And there's some good stuff, yeah. 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 So those are the kind of the managing aspects of, that's why it's become more complex, right? Yep. Beekeeping, Every it's not simple. It's not simple. Not a simple uh, situation. And as a consequence, uh, but but when, you once, you learn, yeah. once you learn, it's fun and it's something that you can go uh, with that information to many aspects of your life. Uh, you know, to understand the biology of bees, you understand how we uh, survive in nature, you understand about plants, you understand about many aspects of biology, which is very important in the t today's world that we are m so much concrete. And right, and changing. That's changing. the other aspect yes. of it, right? What's good today? Cannot be it may not be good tomorrow, tomorrow. and that's that's the issue that's that you have fine. To, that's the way biology yeah. works in life everything is always right changing. there's always a change there's always that kind of uh, situation changing so yeah, and we are evolving yeah. and that's why you conduct and consult this website right True. you have a lot of <laughs> and you see that information on the on the on the on the apis information resource center a treatise on modern honeybee management that's a good i have a question for you yes what do you have your motivations, You're because it's so much work. Well, I, I've been doing this a long time, and I think my motivation is to, to give the bees a chance. That's really nice. I want people to give honeybees a chance. In order to do that, they've got to be better uh, informed and, uh, and have a good information that they can use in order to keep honeybees have a, uh, you know, a reasonable chance for uh, future existence. 
And that brings us to, of course, the mantra that we now know today as Honey Bee Health. Yep. So Honey Bee Health is, and this uh, website hopefully is contributing to that, and that's why I'm writing it up. Fantastic. Great. Hey, congratulations. Thank you, Professor. See you all See next you time. See you next week. <laughs> right. And remember, the, the, the book still, the giveaway is still on, and you just need to like the, the video, subscribe to the page, and we're going to pick five lucky people, five to, get lucky the, people. to get the book. Right. right. All right. See you guys next week. Inside Hi. the high.tv, the show about bees. Bye-bye. <laughs>